Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Steve Ehrlich from Voyager. How are you today? I'm good, Tracy. How are you doing? Let's just start with a big congratulations. Today you just announced that you crossed a half a billion dollars of assets under uh, management. Uh, what are you guys uh, thinking over there? How are you doing this? Oh, it's a really exciting day for us. Uh, you know, little little more than like 12 months ago, December 31st, 2019, we announced on our financials $5 million of customer assets. So 100x growth in less than 13 months. It just shows the adoption. It shows how effective we are in bringing your true crypto agency broker to the market and the value propositions that we bring with our product with trading and interest bearing. And people are really coming to the product. And you know, for us, it's a milestone. It's one of, we think, of many future milestones. Uh, expecting ourselves to get to two billion of assets at some time in the future here, near future. So we just continue to grow. We're excited by where we've been. Of course, we had just been discussing before we started this interview. You gave me a wonderful answer about why this is working for you. I mean, a lot of companies start; they've got the best of intentions, but but what is helping Voyager get to the next level and just be so damn successful? Focused execution. That's really what uh, what it is, is that we have a game plan. We stick to our game plan. Uh, we don't let distractions get in our way. You know, they sometimes come in the world, but we kind of we get ourselves refocused on exactly what we want to do. And I think that's really important to any company. I, you know, one of the things I like to say is that when we bring something to the market, we want to be the best at that. We don't want to be average. So you know, I don't think anyone ever strives to be average. And as a company, we're not striving to be average. We're striving to be the best. And that's the mindset within all our employees. And as we continue to grow, mindset of new employees coming on board, we want people who want to be the best at what they do. Uh, and that's our continued execution plan. Stay great, be great, you know, strive for greatness. Speaking of great, what's the greatest crypto? Uh, I think like I like mentioned to you earlier is that if, if I didn't say this, my community would shoot me, uh, but it's true anyway. Uh, the VGX token is is my favorite crypto, and it's something that we have. It's within our ecosystem. It's a rewards token. It's for lo you know loyalty program and rewards. Uh, one of the big rewards is that you get extra interest if you hold a certain amount of tokens. So, like I'm a big holder of, of VGX and the fact that I want to get extra interest on on my other tokens that I have, whether it's Bitcoin, USDC, or Ethereum. By holding my own token, I get more interest. And then on top of that, over the next couple of weeks, we're bringing out even a deeper plan for rewards and loyalty and get people to think about our rewards program as much as earning up on the American Express side of the world where you want to move up to the platinum card, to the black card. That's what we're trying to do, get people to earn their way to higher levels and therefore get even more benefits. So it's all about loyalty. Customers matter. Customers are the most important thing that we have. Uh, outside of security, customers is, you know, it's one in one A, you know, and we've got to bring product and our token is a really core component of that. Well, I'll tell you, I couldn't, uh, couldn't agree with you more. And speaking of that, you know, you came out on the Canadian Stock Exchange. Canadians are, are saying to me, Trace, we want in. How do we, where, at, when can we open an account? What's an update? Do you have an update for us? Yeah, we're hopefully soon. We're working with the regulators, everything we do, the recent acquisition in, in France where we picked up and acquired a regulated entity. We like to work in regulated environments. So we're working closely with the Ontario Securities Commission to bring our product to market. Again, we wanna give consumers the, uh, you know, the security and the, the trust that they deserve. You know, I look at the landscape in Canada, I know what the products look like and nobody's doing what we're doing. Nobody's bringing the security, nobody's a public company and the trust that we can. So we, we expect to have it out, hopefully, you know, you know with the regulatory approval. Uh, sometime by the end of March. Uh, and again, I think we'll be the industry leader in Canada because of what we bring to consumers and then they could trust us. Fantastic. Dare I ask you what we as shareholders should anticipate in the upcoming quarter? I think uh, January's gotten off to a great start for us as we've put out in our press releases. Uh, we expect to you know, significantly uh, exceed what we've done in, in the December quarter and what we announced for December. Uh, we're on pace for a really good January. I think we announced five million of revenue in January. We did three and a half million, give or take, for the entire December quarter. Uh, and that's just one month. So we're seeing accounts grow significantly, the assets grow. 
a really good quarter we're working on, as I mentioned, as you asked about Canada, we're working on a debit card as well. So maybe that'll get in by the end of the quarter, maybe shortly thereafter. Uh, and then after that, working on margin product, uh, credit card product, working with Visa on some of their fast track programs. And so we're looking to really expand over 2021. Uh, we just you know, announced a raise. And so we're going to put that money to good use. Well, Steve, as always, it's such a pleasure. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me, Tracy.